Hello and welcome to this short video where we will connect to an API using Blazor. It is actually just a pretty simple API request that we want to send, then get some JSON back and display it inside our Blazor server app. I will put a link in the description to this website, JSON Placeholder, because if you go to this website and scroll a bit down, we have an API that we can actually connect to and just try out. If you already have your own API that you want to connect to, then that's fine. Just make sure that you test it before we connect to it. So for example, in this case, I can run this script and this is the response that we get. We can then go and take this URL here and we will actually put it inside Postman just to see that we can actually get the information there also. So just go and open Postman. And as you can see here, I created a tab where I have the URL. So when I say sent, we do actually get the response down here. And in this case, we have to notice that it is a get request that we sent and not a post. If we send a post, you can see that we will not get any information. So it is a get method that we sent. So let's go and create our new Blazor server app. I'll just open Visual Studio 2022 and say create a new project create a blazor server app and it doesn't matter what we call it we can just say next and i will use dotnet 6 in this case so i'll say create the only page we need to use in this project is actually under the pages we need to use the index of course if you have your own project it will be your own file but in this case i'll just go and remove everything from the front page and the first thing i will do is to create a button that when we click this button we will actually get the data so we can say get data and a thing i just need to explain is that when we're inside postman you can see we have these value that we get in return so we will actually go and create an object that could take a user id an id a title and the completed value so if i just go back to the project here we want to make the code section inside our blazor file and I think just at the bottom of this code page, we can go and create the actual object. Normally you would go and create maybe a new folder called models and then put every model inside there. But because this is just a small project, I'll just go and create the actual model in here. So because it has something to do with to do, the word to do, I will go and create a public class that is called to do because this is going to be our model or our object to actually receive the information that we get from the response from the API request that we sent. So in here, you can go and type prop and hit tab twice. Then we will have a public property that is an integer and that's okay because if we go back and take a look here it is actually an integer that we have up here so it will be the user id we can go and copy that and put it in here and then we just want to go and do the same with the rest of these things so we have another integer we have a string here called title and we have a bool called completed so we can just go and create these properties here so now i have the integer which is an id and we have a string that is the title and we have a bool that is called completed so now that we have the object created here we can actually go and make the request from the for the data but before we do that let's just go and create a variable that actually contains a to-do object so we will just go and make a public variable that is actually just taking a, a to-do object so instead of calling it an int or a string we will actually take the whole object to do and save it inside this to do variable. And when we do that, we can actually go up in our HTML to display the different properties that we get here. So in this case, we have a title and I'll just go and put it inside a headline three and h3 tag in html and what we want to do is to go and target this to do variable so we have to say the add sign then to do and then dot because we can go and take the title because this is a to do object so we can go in and target all these properties that we have inside our to do object but to begin with when we actually run the application this will just be null so what we can say is that if to do is not equal to null then it will go and display these things because then we have some value inside the 
to do variable. And that also means if it is null, then we will not get displayed these tags. So now let's go and create the actual API request. We first want to have a new HTTP client that we can use to make the request. So what we do is we make a public variable that takes the HTTP client and we will just call it HTTP client as the name of the variable. And then we want to make a new instance of this HTTP client and put it inside our variable here. So the next thing is to actually make a method here that is going to be called when we click the button and that will actually go and fetch the data. That's also why I call it fetch data. And this will just be a, don't have to be a private, we can just make it a public. So it's a public method that is going to be run async and it will be a task. And the reason we want to make it async and a task is because we are actually going to await the call. So the last thing we have to do is to actually make the call. So we take our to do variable. We want to save a to do object inside this variable. So we can set it equal to the call that we await. So that's why we have to make it async because we're going to await this call to get a response. And then we will go and use our HTTP client where we have an instance of this HTTP client class. So when we have that, we can use the get from JSON async, and then we can actually put in the object that we just created. So it will be easy for this method to know what kind of response do we get in return because we already told it that we will get a to do in return it doesn't really matter what we call this but the important thing is that we have all these properties and that is the properties that we get in return from this call and that's why we say it should be a object that looks like our to do that we should get in return from this url so the last thing we need is actually when we click the button up here that we want to call the fetch data method so the way you do that is by using the add sign and say on click and then what we want to execute when we click on the on click so that is the fetch data we go and copy that and put it inside our on click event listener here so let's try to test this and if we get any error then we will go and fix it so as you can see we don't get the title and the completed text because the to do is null so we don't get the html displayed yet so let's try to click the get data and now you can see we actually get the data from the API. So we get the title, which is this title, and we get the completed, which was false. So this is how you make a simple get method API call in Blazor. It is actually pretty simple. When we have the model, we actually just need to feed it to this HTTP client where we say get from JSON async, and then just say that we want this in return or this is what we expect of course you can go and make more complicated calls so if you for example don't just get one title per to do thing then you could actually go and let's try to copy this and say that we have titles instead and we want to say in here that we maybe have three titles we know that every single to do have three different titles then you can go and say title and put it in here instead so we say titles and then we actually expect that this title have all these values inside so it could be title one two and three so if this api call should return a title that was actually an array then you could just go and say titles and put them because you know they have these values and then put them in here so if any of you who see this video and you have some more complicated things then please tell it in the comments because then i could make a video about how to do it but for now this video is just going to be simple so that would actually be all so have a nice day and bye